what's left of the lake if that's what we need to do. Um, we don't know what else to do. So we're, we're trying to communicate with our customers as much as possible. I'm meeting with uh, large users, um, the rancheria, the reservation, the wineries, the businesses, but Redwood Valley is, uh, is going to be hurting here very shortly. Any questions? Thank you, Bill. Don Buteau. Yes, Bill. Uh, thank you for letting me come up. <coughs> Pardon me, I'm Don Buteau, uh, chairman of, or president, as they want me to say, Redwood Valley County Water District. Um, our manager, Bill Kohler, has just pretty well outlined where we're at. Uh, we came directly here from our emergency meeting this morning uh, at Redwood Valley, in which we instituted these controls. Um, the issue is, of course, uh, uh, vineyards and domestic. But uh, to illustrate how critical this thing is, we have several very large wineries. We have five restaurants. And more uh, 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 of greater concern is we have three schools. How are we going to supply them with any kind of water? It could very well be that the commercials are not going to be able to receive water from us. Um, in the case of a winery, well, if the growers don't have any grapes to sell, the wineries won't have any grapes to process. But there are several wineries out there that process grapes from out of the area as well as the ones on, on locally. So we are uh, addressing this issue. We're going to be talking with these people on a one-on-one -on -one basis to see how we can carry this out. But we are going to go down a priority list, and I think the ones, the last ones to be cut off will probably be schools, and if there's any medical facilities out there that it need to be that. But it could very well be that this $100, it would not be fair for a winery to get a full allocation of water when you're asking the residents to go on $100 or 100 gallons a day, which is basically sponge baths and a toilet flush once a day. So. Uh, if there's anything that the county can do to help us uh, promote this intertie, uh, it's one that's been proposed back in 2002 and again in later drought uh, periods and uh, Redwood Valley has been working very hard and we spent a lot of money since 2002 looking for water, water storage, and it's only been within the last couple of years that we've been receiving the cooperation that's uh, turning out to be so beneficial to us today. I hope we can continue this and I hope that the Board of Supervisors acting as a uh, county water agency uh, board of directors can really get on board and help support this issue. Thank you very much. Thank you. Don, I got just a question. Uh, you know, out in Red Valley, especially, you talk about, you know, ag use and having a basically cutting off ag use. That's correct. And everybody thinks about <laughs> the vineyard issue, but what about the issue of people with their animals, like their horses or their sheep or goats or cows? I this mean, is true. Last year we told people that uh, we didn't tell people that they couldn't water their animals. This year we may be able to say, I'm sorry, you use your 100 gallons any way you want to use it. And if you want to water the horse or the sheep or, or whatever with that 100 gallons and supply yourself some other way, uh, I guess, but it's down to that critical stage. You get 100 gallons, use it the best way you can, don't exceed it, because then you could be in violation and actually uh, uh, be under the threat of a turnoff entirely. So it's a very unfortunate situation, but we just don't know what else to do. Thank you. Uh, Dennis Scholes. Dennis Scholes, Redwood Valley. Um, I've only been in the county some uh, almost eight years, but uh, doing a little research that I've done in the last several years, I uh, found that we've been talking about water in this county for well over 100 years. We have uh, uh, newspaper articles and et cetera. We have uh, recently, like four years ago, we had a uh, grand jury report on the water and the same problems. Um, we need to, I understand we're going to be in another drought year and conservation is a must, but quite frankly, we should have been doing something about this a long time ago. Redwood Valley, we get a lot of rain during the winter and it all flows into the, into the creek, into the river and out down uh, by, uh, out, to the, out to the ocean. Anybody gone by Guerneville lately, 
in uh, winter uh, years knows that uh, they'd love for us to store some more water in the off season because they get so much water sometimes they're underwater. And so we have had a terrible failure and uh, we need to do something like building reservoirs. I need to ask some questions. For instance, uh, I heard, understand that uh, City of Ukiah has cisterns. I don't know if they're usable or not, but somebody needs to ask that question and find out if water can be stored there during the winter. But you get millions of gallons a day that flow, off flow, and it goes through our water treatment plant uh, because of leaky pipes and, and, uh, and uh, uh, leaky uh, uh, sewer pipes. Uh, I, another question I would have, I came aware of about two years ago that there was a real good well out at Masonite and I don't know who has control of that. I don't know if that water is being used. Probably it, but I don't know. Somebody needs to uh, ask that question of somebody. I don't know if that's yours or somebody but needs to answer that question. Uh, we have, uh, I, I'm wondering if there is, uh, if there are, are some kind of funds, grant funds, et cetera. I've heard some about the ag uh, folks being able to do off-site, off-stream uh, storage. I'm wondering if that's a possibility for uh, uh, the county water district to head up uh, 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 with cooperation with the, uh, the water districts to look and say, hey, can we build some reservoirs off-stream? Off are there legal problems with that? We gotta do something uh, for the for the years ahead, we're going to start thinking proactively, because otherwise, we can't depend on miracle mar uh, marches, uh, and we got to do something more than what we're doing, and so uh, we need to take some real concrete action to stop, and get some of that water that's flowing down our streets. Okay, that flows down there, and we get uh, we have no use for that water in the summertime because it's gone. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else from the public want to speak on this issue? Please come forward. Good morning. Uh, Richard Shoemaker, landscape contractor and Russian River Flood Control Board. One of the things that was stated earlier is about 50% of our water use is going to landscape uses in the urban areas. And over the last few years, Sonoma County has been very aggressive in, in making changes in how residents use their water. Um, that is, and farmers have done that as well here and in that county, but we have not done that here in the urban areas. And I think we have an opportunity over the next 60 to 90 days before people start turning on the irrigation systems to start that work. We don't have to suffer from 100% dead lawns and dead plants in this county. Um, you know, as somebody that works with, with, with regular residents, there's a lot of people that don't understand their controllers. They water their lawn daily for 15 minutes. It, there's, I would suggest that there probably is currently 25% of what we need to save in this thing in wasted water, the way people apply irrigation to their landscapes. Uh, some of the things that Sonoma County has done is created programs with financial incentives to remove lawns, to uh, put in smart irrigation controllers, and probably one of the biggest things you have at your, at, available to you with agencies like this and the schools is uh, irrigation auditing, where uh, people come in and they just, they run the system, they analyze the system, they suggest repairs, changes, and so forth. In many places, I found immediately after the work was done, 50% reductions in water use without losing fields and turf areas. So as part of this, and, and the reason I have to say this, I could go to a meeting on the 11th and suggest this easily, but it's one of these things that we have a window of time that we don't have to suffer the, the damage that way. And this can also be applied.